Elvis Ondu, come on, make some noise, celebrate the Lord Jesus for this amazing young man. Come on, you can do better. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Buana Sifiwe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Elvis Odiambo Ondu. Ni Elvis Odiambo Ondu. Yeah, katikati ya mujuangi. Amen. Unajuanga tu Elvis Ondu. Amen. Unanijua kwa jina la Ondu. I'm born again this afternoon. Na ni meokoka adhuri ya leo. And I'm a son in this house. Amen. Mimi ni mwana hapa nyumba. Kwa nyumba. Buana Sifiwe. Amen. Ambea jirena kuna kulala. Mm-hmm. Si ulilala nyumbani. Nana kulala jana Buona zifiwe Amen I would like to thank the leadership of this church Ingetaka kushukuru ongozi wa kanisa hili Led by our bishop Ukiongozi wa na askofu wetu Dr. Jimmy Askofu Kimani Jimmy Kimani And our mom, Pastor Alice Kimani Na mama yetu mchungaji Alice Kimani For giving us young people the opportunity Kwa kupa vijana full sahi if you remember very well, one of the preachers in the harvest, Apostle Juma said, He talked about the minister and the Holy Spirit. So we are all called to minister. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm born again, as I said earlier. I'm a marketer. I deal with uh, different marketing agencies. And I love it. Amen. And right now I want to market Jesus. Amen. So you'll help me to market Jesus. I want to market Jesus. Amen. I have a topic. When I was called on Friday, that I'll be the one to preach on Sunday. Third service. I didn't sleep early. It was on Friday. And, and our very own, our lovely Pastor Brian. Na mchungaji wetu mpendwa Brian. He's a man I respect. He's a man that is a mentor to my life. I always share a lot with him. Let us just appreciate our pastor Brian. Amen. Amen. So he called me. And he told me Elvis. Are you asleep? I think 11 I was not asleep Kumbe God was preparing me for something Kumbe Bwana likuwa na nianda kwa jambo Hizo masai na nipataka kama naanza kulala And that night Hizo masasi kulala I was awake Usiku huo yale masasi kuwa nimelala I was just relaxing on a chair Nikuwa na relax Ile tu na It's kind of How do I put it Ilikuwa tu snap kidogo. Ile tu nimeka. Nimejiekelea tu kidogo. I was not sleeping. So he asked me. Are you asleep? Mambia. Nimekuwa musha. That's what he asked me. Amen. Kani uliza jie nimekuwa musha. I told him no. I was just relaxing. Amen. And he asked me. I would like you to speak to us. Kasema ningetaka utunene. It is a youth Sunday. Ni jumapili ya vijana. And would you preach for us on third service on Sunday? Na jie utuhubiria jumapili hiyo. I told him yes. Nikamombia ndiyo. But I told him, I'll pray about it. Because you know, matters relating to kingdom, you need time with God so that the Holy Spirit will be able to reveal that which his people are supposed to listen. Amen? Ilipata kama tumetoka tu harvest jioni. So I was... I was disturbed in the spirit. I I kitchen. I wanted to prepare some coffee ni kunywe. And I asked God, what do you want me to speak to your people? I was disturbed. in the spirit. I was moving up and down. Nimeketi, nimesimama. Nikasema sasa hivi umati huu wana 
tarajia kunenewa siku kama ya leo. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So I was asking God, what do you want me to speak to your people? Nikawa nikimuuliza Bwana ungetaka ni nene nini? And the scripture that hit me. Na andiko lililo nigonga. Head on. Ah, moja kwa moja. The book of Psalms 20 verse 7. Ni kitabu cha Mithali Zaburi uh, uh, 20 mstari wake wa 7. Psalms 20 verse 7. Uh, you have it on the mm, on the screen. Cha Zaburi uh, 20 na mstari wake wa 7. So from verse 7 we'll move downwards. Na kuanzia mstari wa 7 tutateremka. It says, inasema hivi. Some trust in chariots. Hawa wanatarajia magari. Would you give me from verse 5? Give me from e, verse 5. Nipe kuanzia mstari wa 5. So that we get the context of the of the scripture. Ili uh, tuweze kufahamu huu maandiko yale. We will see. rejoice na tutashangilia in your salvation. Wokovu wako. And in the name of our God we will set up our banners. Na kwa jina la Mwenyezi Mungu tutaziweka bendera zetu. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. E bwana katimize matakwa yako yote. Ba, verse 6. Now sita. I know. Sasa najua that the Lord saves his anointed. Kwamba Bwana amuokoa maishi wake. Tell your neighbor now I know. Sasa na mwa, najua mwambie jirani. That the Lord God saves Kwamba his bwana anointed. Anaokoa masihi wake. Do you know? Je, wafahamu? Ask your neighbor do you know? Je, muulize jirani wafahamu? That the Lord God saves his anointed one. Kwamba Bwana humkomboa ama kumuokoa masihi wake. But he says he will answer him from his holy heaven. Inaendelea kusema kwamba atamjibu kutoka bingu zake takatifu. Where God is seated is holy. Mahali Bwana. Ambaye jirani penye amekaa ni patakatifu. Aha. So he says Basi he will yasema. answer him from his holy heaven. Anasema kwamba nitamjibu kutoka mahali pake patakatifu with the saving strength of his right hand. Kwa nguvu zake za ukombozi za mkono wake wa kuume. The right hand of the father. Na mkono wake wa kuume wa baba. That is where we received our saving grace. Hapo ndipo tunapokea neema za wokovu wetu. According to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 it says that We have been saved not by our works. Ah katika Waefeso 2:8 inasema tuwaokolewa si kwa kazi zetu. But the grace of God. Lakini neema ya Mungu. So just to introduce my message. Basi kuweza tukutanguliza ujumbe wangu. When God placed Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden. Wakati Mungu alipomweka Adamu na Hawa katika shamba la Eden. He had a purpose. Alikuwa na kusudi. And a specific intention. Na kusudi ambalo lilikuwa special that mankind will depend on him kwamba mwanadamu atamtegemea yeye ask your neighbor hebu muulize jirani whom are you depending on je wewe wamtegemea nani whom are you depending on wamtegemea nani our theme for this year is kingdom manifestation aha mwongozo wetu wa mwaka huu ni udhihirisho wa ufalme wake mungu even during our harvest conference for the youth it was the same hata wakati wa kongamano la vijana ule mwongozo ndio uliozingatiwa Here on earth as in where? Ah hapa binguni kama ilivyo wapi? As in heaven. Amen. Kama ilivyo binguni. So just for those who are writing and taking notes. Basi kwa wale mnaoandika my topic is depending on God. Ah kichwa cha ujumbe wangu ni kumtegemea Mungu. Or God wants us to depend on him. Ama Bwana anatamani ama angetaka tuweze kumtegemea. Whom are you depending on? Je, wewe umtegemea nani? Right now you are seated on a seat. Amen. Wakati huu umeketi kwa kiti. Could you imagine what if that seat you are sitting on? Hebu fikiria kama kile kiti uliokiketia something happens. Kitu kikafanyika. God forbid. Ah na Mungu asikubali. You fall down. Uwe utaanguka. Right now as you are seated. Ah wakati huu kama ulivyoketi Is that idea in you that this seat, something might happen on this seat I'm sitting on? Je, kunalo lile wazo kwamba kiti nilichoketi kwake kina jambo laweza fanyika. You are trusting the seat to hold you. Amen. Aha, unayo tumaini kwa kile kiti kikushikilie. You are depending on that seat to hold you. Amen. Unakitegemea kile kiti kikushikilie. You have no thought. Hauna wazo that that seat something can happen. Kwamba kwa kile kiti jambo laweza fanyika. And you might fall. Na uweze kuanguka. So my question is Basi swali langu ni hili How do we take God? Aha, tuamchukuaje Mungu? How do we take God? Je, tuamchukuaje Mungu? Do we trust him that much the way we are trusting the seat we are sitting on right now? Je, tunamtumainia kama tulivyotumainia kiti tulichoketi kwake? Let me just be honest. Hebu niwe tu wa ukweli. 
we are not trusting God that much. Mm-hmm. Can I give an example? What happens when you don't have finances? Uh-huh. Or what happens when your children are sent home for school fees? What happens when you don't have the rent to pay? Whom do you run to the first place? Your friends, right? Your relatives. Then God is uh, maybe uko mm-hmm. Amen? Amen. Am I lying? Yeah. Am I lying? We don't trust God that much. And that night when I was walking around my house, it is not my house. So you don't know what you have rent. So you don't know what you have rent. So you don't know what But I'm trusting God that I will own my own. Amen. I'm trusting God that I will own my own. Amen. 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 Uh-huh. So I'm also trusting God one day yeah, that I'll be able to have my own house. Amen. So when I was walking, moving moving around, na basi nilipo tembea, tembea kwenye ile nyumba. Even as I'm speaking to you, I'm also speaking to myself. Hata ninapokunenea na jinenea. God wants us to depend on him. Mungu angetamani tukamtegemee. Not partly? Aha, si kwa sehemu. Not partially? Si kwa kipande, but totally. Lakini kikamilifu. We all know the scriptures John 3:16. Zote tufahamu maandiko ya Yohana 3:16. That for God so love. Kwamba Bwana akaupenda ulimwengu. The world. Ulimwengu. God loved us that much. Aha, Mungu alitupenda kiwango kile that he gave us his son. Kwamba akatupa mwanae. The only begotten son. Mwana wake wa pekee. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. And the purpose nalo kusudi why God had to give his only begotten son ah uh, lililomfanya Mungu amtoe mwanae wa pekee was for us to look upon him ni ili sisi tukaweza kumtazamia the bible says that is the author and the perfecter of our faith bila inasema ndiye mwanzilishi na mkamilishaji wa imani zetu the alpha and the omega yeye aliye alpha na omega mwanzo na mwisho the ancient of days yeye ambaye adumu milele the lily of the valley yeye ndiye huwa la kondeni the rose of sharon naye ni huwa la sharoni the lion of the tribe of judah yeye ni simba wa wa yuda he wants us to depend on him yeye angetaka tumtegemee whom are you depending on je wamtegemea nani you are depending on your finances je wategemea fedha zako you are depending on your friends wategemea marafiki zako you are depending on your relatives unategemea watu wenu But David said, lakini Daudi akasema, some trust in chariots. Oh, wengine hutumainia magari. Some trust in chariots. Wengine watumainia magari. Some trust in their weapons. Na wengine wanatumainia silaha. Some trust what they have. Wengine wanatumainia kwa kile walichonacho. But we will trust on the Lord lakini, God Almighty. Lakini tutamtumainia Mungu mkuu. My fellow believers. Waumini wenzangu. Let us trust him. Hebu tumtumainie. Let us depend on him. Hebu tumtegemee. Let us totally give ourselves to him ebu tujitoe kwake because kakua there is a rest kunalo pumziko hebrews chapter 4 maybe give me hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 wahibirania 4 mstari wa kwanza hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 wahibirania 4 mstari wa kwanza i want you to understand something ningetaka ufahamu kitu the reason why we struggle in life Ah uh, sababu tunao inayofanya tungengane maisha. The reason maisha. why we worry. Ah uh, sababu tunayofanya tuwe na hofu. We don't depend on God. Ni kwa sababu hatumtegemei Mungu. It says. Yasema hivi. Therefore. Basi. Since we have a promise. Kwa sababu kwa kuwa tunalo uh, tunayo ahad. Remains of entering his rest. Ah uh, ya kuweza kuingia pumziko lake. Let us fear lest any one of you seem to have come short of it. Hebu tusiwe na hali ya kuweza kutoifikia. Verse number 2. Na mstari wa pili. It says. Yasema hivi. For indeed the gospel was preached to us. Kwa kuwa uh, injiri ilihubiriwa kwetu. As to them. Uh, kama ilivyo hubiriwa kwa the word which they had lakini neno walilolisikia did not profit them halikuwafaa hao not being mixed with faith kwa kuwa halikuchanganyika na imani in those who had it uh, kwa wale waliolisikia the bible said there remains a rest aha uh-huh. biblia inasema kuna baki pumziko for the people of god 
kwa watu wake Mungu. Have you entered that rest? Je, umeingia lile pumziko? Why do you worry? Ah, uh, kwa nini una hofu? Why do you have wasi? anxiety? Kwa nini una wasiwasi? Why do you have stress? Kwa nini una kule kusongwa kimawazo? Why are you depressed? Kwa nini umesongwa mawazo? Can you just enter into that rest? Ebu, uweze kuingia kwenye lile pumziko. Enter into the rest of God. Ebu, ingia pumziko yake Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. We are to depend on him lest you become a cast. Ah, uh, tumtegemee tusiwe laana. Because when we don't depend on God it means we don't trust him. Kwa kuwa wakati hatumtumaini inamaanisha hatumtegemei because we trust what we have kwa kuwa tunategemea tulicho nacho we trust our families tunatumainia jamii zetu we trust our friends tunatumainia marafiki zetu we trust our jobs tunatumainia kazi zetu what if you lose that job today na je iwapo ukaipoteza ile kazi leo will you still trust him je utazidi kumtumainia what if you lose that family je ukaipoteza familia god forbid na mungu asikubali will you still trust him na je utazidi kumtumainia what if you lose your friend na je ukawapoteza marafiki will you still trust him je bado utamtumainia let us depend on god hebu tumtegemee mungu let us depend on him hebu tumtegemee mungu that word kept on ringing in my mind aha lile wazo uh, lile neno likizidi kubaki mawazoni mwangu that god wants us kwamba bwana atamani to deep depend on him tuweze kumtegemea yeye you might miss everything that i'm saying right now unaweza kutoshika yote ninayoyasema sasa but don't miss the word depend lakini usikose neno kutegemea what does depend mean aha kutegemea maanisha nini i managed to look some of the descriptions or meaning of the word depend aha nikaweza kutafuta tafsiri za neno to depend kutegemea. means to rely aha kutegemea inasema unaegemea to place trust unaweka tumaini lako to lean on ah um, kujitenge kujitengeneza ama kujitegemeza kwa or contingent ah uh, kuwa na jambo la kukuweza ku, kutu, kutumia kwa wakati wa dharura bwana asifiwe amen bwana asifiwe amen you know Why do we buy seats at our homes? Tunanuanga viti kwa nini kwa manyumba zetu? Mhm. Bwana zifiwe? Amen. Why do we need television in our house? Kwa nini tunahitaji runinga manyumbani mwetu? All of you. Aha, kila moja. I believe. Aha, naamini. You have television screens in your house, right? Aha, unayo runinga nyumbani kwako. Even in your phone when you want to watch something unataka kuona ka news unataka ku, you want to be updated on what is happening on the current affairs uh-huh. unataka you always refer to your phone right habari za hivi why do you do so kwa nini unafanya vile you want to know what is happening amen ni kwa sababu unataka kujua kinachofanyika on the news from the screen aha uh-huh. unategemea right? habari za kutoka kwenye runinga mbona usikae tu upatiwe news yani by word of mouth mhm sungoje tu uh, hosein muhammed akuja kuambia news kwa masikio ama mhm ama ama unangoja kuja kwa screen mm. si ndio mm. umsikize ndo so that you are able to know what is happening amen ile unafahamu uh, yanayofanyika we are depending on the screens to get the news amen tunategemea runinga kupata habari why do we need the phone kwa nini tunahitaji simu when there is something happening uh, wakati kuna kitu kinachofanyika when, the, when there is an issue wakati kuna jambo we want to rely on the phone we want to see how our friends are doing mm-hmm. we want to see our relatives are doing through the phone amen sim kufahamu yanayotendekea marafiki zetu realize that we are depending on the phone for Una, communication uh, right tunategemea simu kwa mawasiliano we are depending on the microphone the one i'm using currently uh-huh. amen tunategemea chombo hiki cha kupasa so sauti so that you are able to listen to my voice ili ukanisikie What if we depend on God the way we depend on these items I've mentioned? Mhm. Na je, tukamtumia tukamtumainia Mungu ama kumtegemea Mungu kama vyombo nilivyovitaja? What if we just rely upon? Na je, iwapo tutamtegemea Mungu? Ask your neighbor. Hebu muulize jirani. Who are you depending on? Je, wamtegemea nani? Who are you depending on? Wamtegemea nani? This word has been disturbing my spirit. Aha, hili neno limesumbua moyo wangu. God has called us to enter into rest. The Bible says there is a rest now for those who believe. Tuingie pumziko na kuna pumziko sasa kwa walio ndani yake Kristo. How is the kingdom going to be manifested if you are not depending on God? Falme utadhihirishwaje kama haumtegemei? Because we have been saying that the kingdom manifestation according to Matthew 16 amen kwa sababu tumekuwa tukizungumzia kuhusu udhihirisho wa ufalme kulingana na Mathayo God was telling me through the spirit that there's no way na Bwana akaniambia kupitia roho kwamba hamna njia 
the kingdom will be able to manifest Aha, ufalme utaweza kudhihirika if you are not depending on god kama hatumtegemei mungu amen amen do you know what god hates unajua ni nini bwana achukia when we don't depend on him look look with me the book of hebrews 11:6 you want to see how uh, much tufatia. god kitabu is irritated uh, when you don't depend on him uh, mm-hmm. Hebrews 11 verse 6 it says Ah uh, Hebrews 11 verse 6 and mstari wa 6 Biblia yasema But without faith Ah uh, na bila imani it is impossible to please God Hauwezi kumpendeza Mungu For he who comes to God Kwa kuwa kila amjiaye Mungu must believe that he is Ni lazima aamini kwamba yeye yuko That is a reward of those who diligently seek him Na yeye huapa thawabu wale wanaomtafuta So God is pleased bana afpendezo when we depend on him wakati tunapomtegemea the opposite of not depending on god is like not having faith aha kinyume cha kutomtegemea mungu ni kutokuwa ni kama kutokuwa na imani so when you don't depend on god it means you are not having faith aha basi wakati haumtegemei mungu ni kama kwamba hauna imani kwake so god is not pleased bana hapendezi bana zifiwe amen ask your neighbor do you have faith hebu muulize jirani je unayo imani Which faith? Muulize imani gani? Which faith? Imani gani? What is faith? Ah, imani nini? What is faith according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1? What is faith? Ah, imani nini ni kulingana na Wahibrania 11 na mstari The substance. Ni ah vitu of things hoped for. Ah vitu vinavyotumainiwa. Convictions of things not seen. Ah uhakikisho wa mambo ambayo hatujaona. Our God is that substance. Aha bwana ni hiyo hali. He wants us to depend on him even if we don't see him. Angetaka tumtumtegemee hata kama hatumuoni. Bwana asifiwe? Ah bwana asifiwe. So don't be bothered by the world. Aha kwa hivyo usisumbuliwe na ulimwengu. Don't be bothered about what is happening about what is happening currently. There are Aha. so many things that are happening. Usijalishwe na yale yanayotukia hivi sasa. We have been having so many people who are corrupted who are being arrested in Kenya, man. Tuna watu wengi ambao wamenaswa. They call it the officer. big fish. Ah, wanaita samaki wakubwa. So you know that God is at work. Unajua kwamba Bwana yuko kazini. Ukiona watu wanashikwa wale wazito wazito, it shows you that God is at work. The prayers that we make here are not in vain. Inakuonyesha kwamba Bwana afanya kazi kwamba maombi tufanyayo We are depending on God for the corruption to end in Kenya. Amen. Tunamtegemea Bwana kumaliza ufisadi nchini. If those big fishes wanaezoeka paka kwa yani inaitwaje kwa prison. Aha, kama hawa samaki wakubwa wanaweza wekwa korokoroni. By the that place I've slept in that place. Let me <laughs> give you a story. Aha, nishalala pale. Some years Kwa back. Miaka kadhaa iliyopita. I think it was 2006. Nafikiri ni mwaka wa 2006. I was a very vibrant young man. Nilikuwa kijana mwenye mori. I was randa randa. Yaani nilikuwa napenda tu kuranda randa. Mhm. Na nakula pose tu mtaa. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So it was in the night. Kwa hivyo ikawa ni usiku. I was with my friends. Nilikuwa na marafiki zangu. Tulisema tutembee, tubangaize tu mtaa. Amen. Mhm. Tunabangaiza. Amen. The young people know tunapenda tu kuchill. Amen. So I was just chilling around with my friends. Nilikuwa tunabangaiza. It was around 11. Imagine 11. What is what what am I doing at 11 by the way? Unafanya nini saa 10 saa za young man. Nilikuwa tu kijana. Would you believe it we were arrested? No, I was arrested. The rest took off. Aha tuliweza nikashikwa wengine wakatoweka niliwekwa hizo ma cups mhm nikawekwa pingu i was taken to the jail Nika... nilipelekwa ndani nilala ndani by the way nikapeleka pale korokoroni i tried to take nilijaribu kukimbia ah ni... mhm but there were some dogs pale na mimi ni maumwa na umbwa so i have an history <laughs> of fearing dogs nishakuwa nimeumwa na umbwa kwa hivyo nina historia ya kuogopa umbwa so i said no i will not run nikasema la asikimbii because when i was a young boy around 3 4 years niliumwa na umbwa mm-hmm. so that fear kwa hivyo ile hofu is still in me unaona kuna alama hapa as car here aha ninayo alama usoni niliumwa mhm when i was a young boy nikiwa kijana so it's always a constant reminder kwa hivyo kunayo hali ya kumbuka Kumbu, so, kumbu. when my friends took off wakati marafiki zangu walipokimbia i remain standing nikabaki nimesimama nikashikwa mhm nikawekwa pingo mhm nikapelekwa pale jela nikala mhm they took my phone ah wakatoa simu yangu they took everything na wakabeba kingine chote and i told god it is now me and you na nikamwambia mungu ni mimi nawe 
I tried to plead. Nikajaribu kuomba msamaha. Kama kijana. Mhm. Umai nyoroshwa. Mhm. Nyamaza. Mhm. I kept quiet. Kanyamaza. Nikapelekwa huko niliwekwa pale kwa room. Mhm. And there were two people who walikuwa wamechapwa viboko hapo ndani by the way. Mm. They told me they were beaten thoroughly. Walikuwa wamechapwa. Wakati wengine wakakojoa hapo it was smelly. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa inanuka mkojo. The other one alikuwa amejifunga na blanket akanifungulia hivi akanionyesha vile wamemnyorosha hapo ndani. So I was imagining these guys are going to beat me up. Mm-hmm. The way vile walishughulikia uh, wase. Mm-hmm. So that fear was creeping me so bad. Uh, ile hofu kaniweka kuwa na mchangamfu. And I don't know what happened. Nililala hapo by the way. Siku lala I was just squatting. Ju hapo chini uwezi kanimkojo. It's all urine hapo yeah. ndani. Mm-hmm. I could not even sit down. Walisinga uweza hata kuketi. They took my phone wakachukua viatu. So imagine nimekanyaga pale na mali kuna mkojo of mm-hmm. grown up people. Unjua hiyo mkojo inanuka aje? It was smelly. Amen. Amen. So I was just squatting around that place. Uh-huh. And I was afraid. I was afraid. Kana hofu. I don't know what happened. The following morning, kilichotendeka sikufahamu siku iliyofuata. Asubuhi ilifika. Ambia jirani asubuhi ilifika. Asubuhi ilifika. Mhm. I love this quote says that weeping may endure through the night but Napendeza. joy comes in the morning. Na ndiko linalosema I think that was my season. I had a weeping dhu. season. Ah uh, kikawa ni majira ya kugoja. My aunt came. Ah uh, shangazi yangu akaja. They bailed me out. I was a very innocent young man. Nilikuwa tu kijana asiye na hukumu. I was being taken advantage of. Ati nilikuwa na randa randa. Mhm. Bwana zifue? Amen. But I learned a lesson. Lakini nikapata funzo. It is not good inside there. Aha, si mahali pema pale ndani. Tell your neighbor depend on God. Mwambie jirani mtegemee Mungu. I am really disturbed by those people who steal from people. Ah, uh, nasumbuliwa sana na wezi. How do you steal from someone something that does not belong to you? Je, utamwiaje mtu kisicho chako? You are depending on what I have so that you can benefit. That is uh-huh. Una that is not. Unategemea nilicho nacho ili upate faida. Bwana zifue? Amen. So my life has been a life of depending on God. Maisha yangu yamekuwa ya kumtegemea Mungu. Sometimes last year around the month of November na uh, mwaka jana mwezi wa 11 i was robbed niliweza kuibiwa ama kunyaganywa i was attacked nilishambuliwa at a gun point uh, kwa bunduki mimi bunduki na unanga to kwa movie mhm bwana zipie amen i'm so used to watching movies watu akibeba guns uh-huh. but it was real until i was confused mhm nilichew blackout when uh-huh. i saw it i chewed black yani nilikuwa tu eh nikashindwa ni mimi kweli mhm there were three young men like me when you walitoa jana. bunduki mimi siju mhm they took my laptop wakabeba laptop ama they took my wallet wakabeba mkoba wangu they were just about to finish me na walikuwa kama wanimalize reason b sababu ikuwa my eyes had seen them kwa kuwa macho yangu ilikuwa imewaona they were not covered hawakuwa wamejifunika mostly when when you are attacked by thugs and Napo, shambuliwa na jambazi and they know you have seen them na wanafahamu kwamba umewaona they want to finish you so that you don't become a witness na wangetaka wakumalize ili usiwe shahidi what happened i don't understand kilichofanyika sielewi i found myself lying down Nilijif- on the soil pata nimelala kwenye mchanga and i was alone na nilikuwa peke yangu how i reached home ah uh, nilivyofika nyumbani only god knows mungu afahamu what happened there after kilichotendeka pale baadaye i can say it was god naweza sema ni mungu i was depending on god for for the payment of the pain they cost me nilikuwa namtegemea Mungu kwa kulipo kwa ajili ya uchungu nilio walio nisababishia the laptop they took was not mine uh, laptop ama computer walioibeba haikuwa yangu was for the agency i was working for ilikuwa ya kampuni nilio kuwa nimfanyia kazi and i told god how am i going to pay something that is worth almost 45000 how am i going to pay this kamuliza bwana nitalipaje kitu ambacho gharama yake ni kama 1045 
And I thank God for our bishop. Na nashukuru bwana kwa sababu ya askofu. How he got the story? Uh, alivyo pata ile habari. I didn't tell him. Sikumwambia. The only person that I was able to talk to. Mtu wa pekee niliyeweza kuambia. And I shared what I had gone through. Na nikashiriki nilichopitia. Was Pastor Brian. Ni mchungaji Brian. I told him how those people attacked me. Nikamwambia nilivyoshambuliwa. How they messed me up. Uh, Walipio walionitendea. And the rest. Na mengineo. I can say thanks to a bishop. I was able to pay back. Ah, naweza sema asante kwa askofu niliweza kulipa. The laptop. Ile tarakilishi. And I thank God for that. Na nashukuru bwana kwa. Who are you depending on? Je, unamtegemea nani? I want to give us some of the ways we can depend on God as time is really catching up with me. Ah, ningetaka nikupe njia za kuweza kumtegemea Mungu. There are some points that the spirit of God gave me on how we can depend on this God. Kuna vidokezo ambazo Bwana alinipa za jinsi ya kumtegemea Mungu. We can depend on God on different ways. Aha, tunaweza mtegemea kwa njia tofauti ama Bwana asifiwe. Amen. How can we depend on number one? Ya kwanza jinsi ya kumtegemea. It is through prayer. Ni kupitia kwa maombi. Give me the book of Philippians chapter 4. Nipe wa Filipi sura ya 4 from verse 6 um stali wake wa 6 philippians kindly ah wa filipi it says eh sema hivi be anxious for nothing aha usisumbuke kwa lolote but in everything lakini kwa kila jambo by prayer kwa maombi supplication na kwa maombezi with thanksgiving na shukrani let your request be known to god ufanya ama hoja zako zikajulikane kwa mungu the only way we can depend on this god njia ya pekee ya kuweza kumtegemea mungu is through prayer ah ni kuweza kuomba ask your neighbor are you praying je muulize jirani je wewe waomba how often do you pray je wewe uomba kwa mara ngapi it is a, it's so sad that some yeah. of us we only pray when we have problems mhm ni hofu kwamba wengi wetu tunaomba tu let me just remind us Ebu ni tujikumbushe. We normally have Monday prayers here, right? Ah, uh, sisi huwa na maombi ya Jumatatu hapa. At 6 to 7, one hour only. Aha, uh-huh. lisali moja kuanzia saa 12. Umekuwa na leo umekuwa na the whole day you have umekuwa na kuanzia asubuhi paka 6. Yaani one hour tu kuomba is a challenge. Mhm. Bwana zifiwe? Amen. During uh, During the prayer and fasting we also had prayers. Aha, uh-huh. wakati wa mfungo na kuomba sisi huwa na maombi. You'll find that a couple of us were only coming. Very Utapata many of us were not coming. Tu yetu huja. Wengi wetu hatuji. That is a reflection of how much do we pray? Aha. Even at our homes you'll find it is a challenge. Hiyo ni dhihirisho ya jinsi sisi huomba hata kwetu manyumbani hatuombi. Shughuli ziko mob kwa nyumba paka una time na Mungu. Mm-hmm. You are so busy for God. Mm-hmm. You can never be busy for God. God Aha. is always busy kwamba hauna nafasi ya Mungu ya paswa usiwe na shughuli The Bible says that in, it does not sleep. Mm-hmm. Biblia inasema kwamba Neither kuma, does he slumber. Ye halali wala hasinzi. So who are you not to give God that one hour? Ye yeah, basi wewe nani usimpe Bwana lisalile limoja. Omba. That is how we can depend on this God. Hivyo, By hivyo. prayer. Tutakapomtegemea Mungu kwa maombi. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Another point is that uh, we can depend on God. Naweza mtegemea Mungu through love kupitia upendo I know you might be asking where does the connection of love comes Ah uh, najua unaweza jihoji upendo na hali ya kumtegemea za Tano will be in the book of 1 John chapter 4 Geuza nami kitabu cha Yohana wa kwanza from mm. verse 7 Ah uh, in Yohana wa kwanza uh, sura ya 4 na mstari wa It says sa, eh? yasema hivi Beloved yasema wapendwa let us love one another Ah uh, hebu tupendane mmoja kwa mwingine For love is of God kwa kuwa upendo ni wa Mungu. And everyone who loves. Na kila apenda. Is born of God. Yeye yeah, azaliwa na Mungu. And knows God. Na anamfahamu Mungu. Verse 8. Na mstari wake wa 8. It says, yasema, He who does not love. Yeye yeah, asiyependa. Does not know God. Yeye yeah, hamfahamu Mungu. Tell your neighbor God is love. Mwambie Mungu ni upendo. There is no way. Uh, hakuna njia. You will tell me that you are depending on God. Utakavyo utakavyo sema kwamba mimi namtegemea Mungu. And you don't love your neighbor. Na haumpendi jirani. Because when you love your neighbor. Kakuwa ukimpenda jirani. You love God. Unampenda Mungu. You are depending on God. Unamtegemea Mungu. The people around you. 
Aha, watu walio karibu nawe. Do they feel your God? Je, wamhisi Mungu wako? Your friends. Marafiki zako. Your relatives. Ah, watu wa jamii yako. Your family. Jamii yako. Do they feel that you serve a living God? Je, wafahamu unamtumikia Mungu aishie? They only know it when you love them. Wanafahamu tu yale utakapowaonyesha upendo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Eh, hiyo time kuna vile nilisimama kidogo. <laughs> time is moving, amen. Ah, wakati wa songa. The spirit was just downloading these points. Aha, roho tu alikuwa na ndoza ndodoza vidokezo hizi. It kept on just telling me, tell my people. Alikuwa anazidi kuniambia, ambia watu wangu. I want them to depend on me on these ways. Ningetaka wanitegemee kwa njia hizi. Bwana sifa number 3. Ya tatu. How do we depend on this God? Je, tunamtegemeaje huyu Mungu? Through living a righteous life kwa kuishi maisha ya utakatifu being on the right standing with god mhm uwe katika msimamo ulio imara na mungu our god is holy mungu wetu ni mtakatifu our god is holy mungu wetu ni mtakatifu without holiness na bila utakatifu tell your neighbor mwambie jirani without holiness bila utakatifu you shall not see god hautamuona mungu how are you living your life je unaishije maisha yako are you an hypocrite Ah jewe wewe mnafiki you want people to see you on the public aha uh-huh. unataka watu wakuone ma, mle nje what is your private life aha uh-huh. maisha yako ya kibinafsi yakoje are you living right je waishi sawa if there is there any hidden sin in your life je kuna dhambi zilizo za siri ndani ya maisha yako this one is an hindrance hii ni kizuizi of us depending on god ya kuweza kumtegemea Mungu depart from sin. Hebu tukimbie kutoka kwa dhambi. Give me the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. Hebu nipe Petro wa kwanza. 1 Peter Petro wa kwanza chapter 1 uh, sura ya kwanza verse 16. It says uh, Petro wa kwanza because it is written kwa kuwa imeandikwa be holy iweni watakatifu for I am holy. Kwa kuwa mimi ni mtakatifu. Do you know there's one thing that can really be a deterrent for you to go to the to the kingdom unajua kuna kitu kimoja kilicho kizuizi chako kuenda kwa kwa ufalme your life how you are living it mhm maisha yako jinsi unavyoyaishi god hates sin bwana achukia dhambi that's why he had to give the ransom ndipoza akatoa sadaka of his only begotten son ya mwanawe wa pekee so that we might be on the right standing ili uwe na msimamo ulio kamili with god naye mungu so sin is something we don't negotiate with basi dhambi ni kitu ambacho hakuna majadiliano you all know the story of joseph tunajua hadithi yake yusuf how he took off a uh, jinsi alivyo toweka kama kukimbia alikimbia kutoka kwa nani mhm who was he running for? alikuwa akimbia kutoka kwa nani the wife of who mke wa nani the wife of who mke wa nani the wife of who Mm-hmm. Potifa. Mke wake Potifa. So that's how we need to run from sin. Hivyo ndivyo inavyopaswa sisi kukimbia dhambi. It is that serious. Aha, ni ya muhimu jinsi ile. You don't give it, you don't even give it a second thought. Aha, haipaswi hata kuipa wazo la pili. Una left. Mhm. Leo huyu una left kwa kwa WhatsApp group. You mm-hmm. una left. Ambe jirani una left. Mhm, natoweka. Una left without even thinking. Mhm. Bila kufikiria. So The only way we'll depend on God is living right with him. Njia basi ya pekee kuweza kumtegemea Mungu ni kwa kuishi maisha ya utakatifu naye. Bwana zifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana zifiwe. Amen. And the God we serve. Na Mungu tunayemtumaini is a faithful God. Ni Mungu mwaminifu. 2 Timothy 2:13. Ah, Timotheo wa 2:15. The Bible says, Biblia yasema, even though we may be faithless, Aha, hata ingawa tutakuwa tusio na imani he remains faithful yeye atabaki mwaminifu god knows mungu afahamu your faith may fail you kwamba imani yako yaweza kukufanya ushindwe but we can still depend on his faithfulness lakini tunaweza tegemea uaminifu we can wake. still rely on his faithfulness tunaweza tegemea uaminifu wake bwana zifiwe amina as i draw to conclusion ninapo Fikiria enda kumalizia. I want to give you some of the characteristics. Ninaweza kukupa tabia of the people who relied, who depended mm-hmm. on God. Ya watu ambao walimtegemea 
na kuweza kujitegemeza kwake Mungu. And their lives were, was not the same. Na maisha yao hawakuwa sawa. Look at David. Mtamzame Daudi. Wameenda kupigana kule. Mhm. Wakirudi hapa, mm-hmm. wanapata wake zao wamechukuliwa. Mm-hmm. Mali zao zimechukuliwa. Mm-hmm. Everything was taken. Their Kena wives. Kitu, wake their zao. properties. Ah, uh, mali zao. Look at what David says. Ah, uh, hebu tazama ambayo Daudi anayosema. First Samuel chapter 30. Katika uh, Samueli wa kwanza uh, sura ya 30. First Samuel chapter 30. Ah, uh, Samueli wa kwanza. It says. Yasema hivi. Now it happened. Basi kawa. When David and his men came to Ziklag. Wakati Daudi na wanaume waliporudi Ziklag. On the third day. Ah, siku ya tatu. That the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag. Ah, kwamba Wamereki walikuwa wameshambulia eneo la Kusini and attack Ziklag and burn it with fire. Na kushambulia ile mji na kuteketeza moto. And had taken captive the women. Na walikuwa wametoa wanawake. And those who were there. Na wale waliokuwa pale. From small kutoka walio wadogo great, na hata wakuu. They did not kill anyone. Hawakuua yeyote. But carried them away. Lakini wakawabeba kama mateka. And went their way. So David and his men. Basi Daudi na wanaume wenzake. Came to the city wakaingia mjini and there it was na pale ikawa burned with fire umechomwa kwa moto and their wives na wake their sons wanao and their daughters na mabinti zao had been taken captive walikuwa wametwawa verse 4 uh, mstari wa 4 and de- then david and the people then uh, basi daudi na watu who are with him waliokuwa pamoja nao lifted up their voices wakainua sauti zao and wept na wakalia until they had no more power to weep hadi wakawa na hawana nguvu ya kuzidi kuombolea david two wives na wake wake wawili wa daudi ahinoam ahinoam and the jezelites na mjeziliti and abigail na abigail the widow of nabal yule mjane wa nabori the carmelite who mkameli had been taken captive pia walikuwa wametekwa verse 6 mstari wa sita. now david was greatly distressed daudi akawa ana uzito for the people spoke of stoning him kwa kuwa watu walizungumza kuhusu kumpiga mawe because the soul of all the people was grieved kwa sababu mioyo ya watu wote iliomboleza and every every man for his sons and his daughters kwa kila mwanaume uh, kwa wanawe na binti yake zao but david lakini daudi strengthened akajipa nguvu himself na yeye mwenyewe in the lord ndani ya bwana the bible said david did what na Biblia inasema Daudi akafanya nini? So that is one of the character. Hibasi ni moja tabia we need to take. Tunayopaswa kuitoa as believers. Kama waumini. When storm comes. Wakati dhoruba zinapokuja. Trials comes. Wakati majaribu yanapokuja. When trouble comes. Wakati shida inapokuja. Strengthen yourself in the Lord. Jipe nguvu ndani ya Bwana. Because that is a mark. Kwa sababu hii ni uh, ni alama of somebody who depends on God. Ya mtu anayemtegemea Mungu. Did David run to his friends? Je, Daudi aliwakimbilia marafiki zake? Did he consult the, the, the people that were around him? Je, alitafuta uh, mawazo kutoka kwa wenzake? No. Usia. La. He strengthened himself. Alijipa moyo ama alijipa nguvu in the Lord ndani ya bwana that is a mark of somebody who depends on god he ni alama ya mtu anayemtegemea mungu bwana sifiwe amen i love the story of david so much napendezwa na hadithi ya daudi sana in spite of his downfall hata kando na mambo yaliyomfanya akashindwa i was trying to look at why david is being referred to as a friend of god aha nilikuwa natafuta kwa nini daudi yuaitwa rafiki wa mungu He was always pouring his heart to him. Ni kwa sababu kila mara alimimina moyo wake kwake. He was pouring his shame. Alimimina uh, aibu yake. Humiliation. Na uh, kule kudunishwa kwake. What happens to us? We want to hide things. Amen. Ni nini kinachotutendekea sisi? We want sisi. to hide sin. Tunataka tunataka kuficha. Ha. But for David. Lakini kwa Daudi everything he did. Kila alichokifanya He poured his heart to God. Ali mwaga ama kumimina moyo wake When you look at the book of Psalm chapter 50. Ukitazama Zaburi 50. When David sinned with Wakati Daudi alipofanya dhambi with a woman. Na mwanamke. Whom he watched. Ambaye alimtazama taking a bath. Akinawa. When you look at chapter 50, David pours his heart to God. He says God 
created me Daudi ana mimi na moyo wake anamwambia Bwana Bwana niumbie moyo safi from verse 10 kuanzia mstari wa 10 he realized akatambua that he was not in the right standing kwamba hakuwa na msimamo ulio imara ama ulio adirika mbele za Bwana Bwana asifiwe ah bwana amen so let us strengthen ourselves in God hebu tujipe nguvu ndani ya Bwana Bwana asifiwe amen so we can say david is an example of those people who stood Tunaweza sema basi Daudi ni mfano wa watu waliosimama. Amen. Amen. Those people who depend on God another characteristic we can say that they are always at peace. Uh, tabia nyingine ya wanaomtegemea Mungu ni kwamba wote kila ama daima wana amani. And they experience that stillness. Na wanatambua ule utulizo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. They let go. Wao huachilia and they let God in na humleta ama humfanya Mungu aingie kati. Look at Job. Hebu mtazame uh, Ayubu. Job, Ayubu, you all know the suffering that Job went through. Tunafahamu mateso yake. The Bible says from verse 1 Job it says that he was blameless. Aha, uh-huh. kuanzia mstari wa kwanza Biblia inasema hakuwa na dhambi. He was on right standing with God. Alikuwa na msimamo wa kufaa na Mungu. But the devil came. Lakini shetani yakaja. And asked God na kamuliza Mungu. Have you considered your servant Job? Yeah, umemtazama mtumishi wako Ayubu. It is because the things you have given him. That's why he trusts. Kwa sababu ya vitu ulivyompa ndipo sana kutumainia. So he was trying to tell God that the reason why Job is depending on you. Alikuwa anamwambia sababu mu Ayubu anakutegemea. Is because of the things you have given him. Ni kwa sababu ya mali uliyompa. Touch his things. Hebu guza hizi vitu and you realize that it doesn't depend on you but it was not so look at the book of job as i wind up the book of job chapter 13 verse 15 After job had lost everything until his wife told him cast this god and die i love what he says in the verse verse 15 What does Job says? Ayubu yasema nini? Though he slay me, hata ikawa ataniua. Yet will I trust him. Bado nitamtumainia. Even so, hata I will defend my own ways before him. Nitaweza kutetea njia zangu mbele zake. So when it comes to you losing everything. Basi inapokuja kwako kupoteza kila kitu. The way Job lost everything. Ah uh, jinsi Ayubu alivyopoteza kila kitu. Are you still able to depend on this God? Je, yeah. bado utaweza kumtu, kumtegemea huyo Mungu? It is that serious. Hiyo ni adharura ama ya muhimu jinsi. I have jinsi. a testimony. Ah uh, nina ushuhuda. My mom was at the verge of deathbed. Mamangu akawa katika hali ya kuweza kufa. 2006 mwaka wa 2006 she lost her mind akapoteza akili zake she could not talk hangeweza kunena she was at a cabbage state alikuwa katika hali ya hali maututi cabbage state nile mali wewe sasa unanusa kifo you are smelling death mhm unaponusia kifo mm-hmm. my grandma started crying aha nyanyangu akaanza kulia in that hospital bed ah uh, pale kitandani hospitalini she was telling me alikuwa ananiambia Elvis Elvis your mom is gone mm-hmm. mama yako yuaenda she cried literally the, i would see the tears falling down her cheeks mm-hmm. akalia machozi akamdondoka and i looked at my grandma na nikamtazama na nyama told her nikamwambia the woman you see mhm mwanamke umuonae she will not die until she see her grandchildren mhm hatakufa hadi aone wajukuu wake and i am his son na mimi ni mwanawe and i've not yet given her the children na bado sijampa wana she will not die hatakufa she will live ataishi she will live ataishi right now it has been around uh, how many years from 2006 how many years miaka ngapi 12 good years miaka 12 strong woman mwanamke mwenye nguvu grounded in faith anayekuwa ka imani serving the lord akimtumia mtumikia bwana this woman i love her so much na huyu mwanamke nampenda sana she is the reason why i was able to walk the journey of salvation ndiye sababu kutembea kwangu safari ya uokovu she single handedly raised us aha kwa yeye binafsi 
alitulea. She was a father to us. Alikuwa baba kwetu. She was a mother to us. Na alikuwa mama kwetu. That's why I get irritated. Na ndipoza nasikia vibaya. Of people who abuse women. Ah ya watu wanao watusi ama kuwatumia vibaya wanao. It pains me. Inaniumiza because I have a mother. Kwa sababu nina mama. Who single handedly. Ambaye kwa mkono mmoja raised us four kids akatulea watoto wane three boys a vijana watatu one lady na msichana mmoja all of us we are grown ups sisi sasa tumekomaa all of us are grown ups and i'm the first born tumekomaa nami ndiye kifungua mimi when you look at the last born you will think he is the first born aha unapomtazama wa kitinda mimba utafikiria ndiye wa when i look at them ninapowatazama i see the goodness of god Ninaona wema wa Bwana. Because I have learned to depend on God. Kwa sababu nimejifunza kumtegemea Bwana. My standing here. Kusimama kwangu hapa is to assure you. Ni kukuhakikishia our God is dependable. Kwamba Mungu wetu tunaweza mtegemea. You can depend on him. Unaweza mtegemea on the valley. Ah, uh, kwenye bonde. On the mountain. Ah, uh, mlimani. Is the only one. Ni yeye wa pekee. Is a friend. Yeye ni rafiki. That sticketh. Ambaye bado yupo. Closer. Karibu. Than a brother. Zaidi ya. I have Duke. seen him coming through for me. Nimemuona akija katika hali zangu. In so many ways. Katika njia nyingi. Friends, marafiki, I want you to depend on this God. Ningetaka mtegemee huo. He is the only one. Ni yeye wa pekee. Who will never ever. Ambaye kamwe hatawahi. Disappoint you. We humans sisi wanadamu we will disappoint you wakati mwingine tutakufanya uaibike i myself mimi mwenyewe i will disappoint you nitakufanya nisikutane na hoja za god lakini mungu who is seated ambaye ameketi who is reigning ambaye yuatawala whom we are waiting for his coming ambaye tuwategemea kurudi kwake is dependable yeye anaweza tegemewa lose everything that i've said Aha, poteza vyote nilivyovisema. But don't lose the word depend. Lakini usipoteze neno kutegemea. Tell your neighbor depend. Mwambie jirani tegemea. Depend. Kutegemea. I don't know what you are depending on. Shall Sijui we rise up? Unategemea nini? Shall we rise up? Tusimame. I don't know whom you are depending on. Sijui unamtegemea nani. I know we have depended on so many things in this world. Na najua tunategemea vingi hapa duniani. But I want us to depend on this God. Lakini ningetaka tumtegemee Mungu. Even as I pray. Hata niombapo. I want us just to go before the Lord. Ningetaka twende mbele za Bwana. Just repent for you depending on the things of this world. Hebu tubu kwa kutegemea vitu vya ulimwengu huu. Tell God I've depended on, on my money. Aha, mwambie Bwana nimetegemea hela zangu. I've depended on friends. Nimetegemea marafiki zangu. I've depended on the people around me. Nimetegemea watu karibu nami. I want to depend on you. Mwambie ningetaka Just go before the Lord. Tell God I want to depend on you. Mwambie ningetaka kukutegemea wewe. Jesus, roko baka shinde yanda da bakaya. Reke bakashile yoko bakai rende de bakashile father we want to depend on your father we have depended on the world so much we have depended on our finances my god we have depended on our jobs king of glory we have depended on our friends but lord you have called us to depend on you you are god who is dependable ba father help us to depend on you ba father help us to rely on you king of glory we want to depend on you fully ba father we want our life to rely on you ba father roko bakasile yeke baka father we worship you my god we honor you king of kings lord of lords we magnify your name the name that is above all other names of god the name of Jesus Christ at the mention of that name oh God every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Father we want to rely on your ways we want to rely on your wisdom my God we want to rely on your knowledge my Father to the praise and to the glory of your name we worship you my God we magnify you let us pray Father we thank you Baba Your word has come forth Neno lako limetujia You have unfolded it to your people Bana umelifungua kwa watu wao Your word reminds me in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 Neno lako katika Isaiah 55 mstari wa 11 That your word will not go forth and it comes the way it went Neno lako halitaondoka na likarudi vile But it will fulfill that which had purpose it for it Lakini litatimiza kusudi ulilolituma Father the word we have received Baba neno tulilolipokea Cause us to mix it with faith Bana tusaidie kulichanganua 
that Lord we will not depend on, our, on the things of this world but we want to depend on you Jesus we want to rely on you totally help us to depend on you my God where we have relied on our finances where we have relied on the friends around us where we have relied on our families we repent we repent my father we pray that Lord we may depend on you when we are at the valleys when we are at the mountain we worship you my father therefore receive all the praise receive all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let us clap for Jesus amen hallelujah Hallelujah.